Hi all, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I am doing a video on tips to crack CPC exam. So this is not a video about how to study for uh, study the ICD book, how to study the CPT book. It's not a video like that, but it's just some points which you have to understand before going for your CPC exam. Okay, so I, I am I usually receive so many mails and Instagram messages regarding ma'am please share some tips. So I thought of sharing one video so that every it will reach to all of you. So the first point that I am going to share with you will be common in all videos regard in YouTube uh, which you can see regarding this exam preparation tip because it is that important and that is nothing at time management. Okay, because time management is a very very important matter uh, for our CPC exam. So you all know that the CPC exam is a hundred mark question paper it is an online exam uh, and uh, it is of four hours so when a student who is not preparing for exam if he hears that we have 100 questions and four hour means they will find it as very easy yes you have 100 questions and you have four hours four long hours but once you do a single paper a single mock question paper means you will understand how important is this four hours and how valuable it is for our 100 questions to complete so before going for exam itself, you have to make a plan or a proper arrangement on how to utilize this four hours for the exam. Okay, so four hours means in, in minutes it will be 240 minutes. Okay, so for each question you will have 2 minutes and 40 seconds. You can even reduce that to each question you will have two minutes like that so you will think how can i complete uh, lengthier questions and uh, questions with multiple quotes with two minutes it's impossible yes it's impossible but you can conserve your time with from some another questions for example you have questions in anat from anatomy topics you have questions from compliance and regulatory medical terminology coding guidelines these questions will not require two minutes Okay, two minutes is not needed for them. Okay, for example, for a medical terminology question, you can just read the question. You may either know the answer or you may not know the answer. Okay, so if you know the answer, mark it. If you are not confident or if you don't know the answer means flag it off. You have a uh, option to flag the questions which you are in doubt or which you don't know. So that at the end, you can take that flag the questions and you can flag off and uh, uh, you unflag and uh, you can do that question. Okay, so if you are confident with the question means you do it or otherwise you flag it off. Okay, so it will not take more than 30 seconds for doing that procedure. So the excess one minute or one and a half minute that you got from that question you can utilize for a lengthier question or a questions with multiple quotes. Like that you can utilize the time effectively. Okay, when you read a question. Uh, even if it is a small or lengthier question, when you read a question, you, you will understand uh, that whether it is from a portion which you have already studied or it is a familiar portion or if it is not a familiar, it is an unfamiliar portion. Even if it comes from an unfamiliar portion also, it may not have any guidelines. It will be, uh, sometimes it may be direct quote taking type of questions okay so you read the question you just try to take the quote if you are not getting or if you feel like that this is not a type of question which i can manage means just flag it off okay don't spend too much time on any questions okay the next point which i have to tell you is if you spend too much time on a single question may if you spend too much time on a particular question, uh, like uh, 5 minutes or 10 minutes, and uh, you you may not be able to attend at least 20 to 30 questions at the end, means whatever, how simple is be the question paper, you will not pass. Okay, that's why you have to ensure the proper time management so that you can attend all questions in time. Uh, along with, if you spend uh, 2 minutes for a single question, means you will get 30 minutes at the end. So that you can check the uh, check your questions or uh, you can um, take the flag the questions and you can do that and clear all your doubts so that it will be smooth and clear for you next point is 
practice 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 more and more questions okay uh, some students there are different ways how the students study for exam some students will study all the guidelines they will keep on repeating and revising all the guidelines and uh, the text will be text will be by heart for them but they may not study how to apply these guidelines when a question comes okay some other students will keep on doing questions but they may not be knowing about the guidelines so what i suggest is first you have to know about the important guidelines for example if you get a question about more surgery means you have to know how is the guideline and how to take the code for that right otherwise you can't do that question you can't study from the exam hall and do that question that is not practical okay so such important guidelines you have to study if you no that means then start doing questions okay no need to repeat and revise it 10 10 times or 1000 times that will not be effective study and then start to put that knowledge to application level that is you have to start doing more questions and questions uh, where all those guidelines comes okay then next to the currently the pattern of questions that is coming for cpc exam if you check that we can see for anatomy coding uh, coding guidelines compliance and regulatory medical terminology and all we have lots and lots of repeated questions okay so try to collect maximum questions from your friends who have already attended the examination okay so it will be very helpful for you for example if you are a non-medical background student instead of spending hours for you to uh, study the anatomy topics you can collect maximum anatomy previously asked questions from your friends and study that and the related topics for example if one of your friend have had a question uh, which is the urine passes from kidney to urinary bladder through which structure that is ureter then you have to study hold that after urinary bladder the urine passes through urethra to outside like that you have to just study okay because questions comes from that also like that heart the blood passes from right to ventricle to which structure from which structure to lungs like that okay that diagram you have to study like that okay so try to collect maximum repeated questions uh, i have already shared some repeated questions about compliance and regulatory in uh, you, two youtube videos like that coding guidelines which i have shared as two three parts videos okay from that and all many students are telling questions are coming from that even i have prepared that with the help of my students who have already completed cpc exam and passed then understand this tip that you have many questions hidden uh, the answers are already hidden in the textbook itself okay for example uh, i have already explained about the tip uh, that how to collect questions of about coding guidelines all the questions about coding guidelines from textbook itself from uh, in that video about coding guidelines okay similarly in the cpt book in the starting you you can see many medical terminologies uh, table is there given there similarly you have uh, pictorial representation of uh, circulatory system nervous system like that which you can refer for anatomy questions okay like that you will get questions from the text itself uh, many of the answers from the text itself so for that you have to um, get a clear picture about the text what all things lies where next point is try to attend all questions even if you don't know any question means you can flag flag it at that time and after completing one round take the that question then try to do many methods like do, um, try to get answer by elimination method okay uh, like that and if you didn't get by any method means go for random answering okay because we don't have any negative marks so leaving an answer blank is a foolishness okay so how this elimination method works for example what is elimination method that uh, check all the codes then try to eliminate or remove options which is not matching and then you will come with a single answer okay for every question you will have four options of that two options will be uh, totally wrong which you can eliminate easily 
okay then you will re reach with two options okay uh, from that you can either take a final answer or if you don't know the final answer means just go for a random option okay i will explain you about one exam advantage of this elimination method if you get uh, for example if you get a lengthier question from e and um, e evaluation and management portion okay and then you just uh, you you just compare the options you have one outpatient option one inpatient option one emergency department option like that okay then you start reading the question in the beginning itself the first sentence itself is that patient is admitted then you can eliminate the outpatient option okay like that you can eliminate and reach the final answer this advantage of elimination method is it will not be wrong because you are eliminating other options and you are reaching in a conclusion means it will not be wrong chances for getting it wrong it will be very very less okay then the last point and also a very important point like time management is the confidence which you should have okay uh, i am taking classes on this 10 days exam preparation class but it is in malayalam language only okay uh, and uh, the students which i have they are usually um, first time second time third time and even fourth attempt students are coming to attend my class okay so the major problem which they face during their examination is one is not the proper time management they didn't get enough time and the second one is they became nervous tense and they couldn't write the exam properly these are the two major drawbacks two major drawbacks that the students who are failing is facing okay so what you have to consider is you have to be very confident when you are writing the cpc exam okay if you are tense and nervous and worried means you will lose even the you will lose the scores even from the question which you are very um, you are, you studied much you will not gain a single score from this nervousness or tension but you will lose many scores because of this nervousness or tension so you have to be confident you have to get a sound sleep in the previous day okay then you have to believe in god and write the exam you will definitely pass you no know. okay so hope these tips will be helpful for you to appear for the exam all the best for all of you thank you